I'm very proud to welcome Master Polly Zink. Thank you, Joe. What is the history of Taishing Pequor? Taishing Pequor began about 200 years ago. Pequor was formed in its axe fist chopping, hands and feet, a lot of kicking. Classically, it's northern Shaolin in some aspects, and many of the temple arts that are incorporated are from the Taoist temples in China. And originally, it was a master of uh, northern Shaolin that developed it. And he went on to the Taoist temples and refined his art into the breathing, meditation, the softer arts. And the uh, De Tong goes way back in China, which is ground fighting. And that was the monkey master's original art that he had practiced for many years. And then after mastering that, he observed monkeys and started to learn their techniques and from that he went on to the monkey system so the art itself is three complete arts in one i see now what benefits do stretching and flexibility have for a martial artist as well as anyone as far as uh, general health is concerned they benefit your health greatly in that you're exercising your body you're expelling poisons from your body as you're sweating you're increasing lung capacity, developing stamina. These are all very useful for good health. And the Chinese study the internal breathing and stretching mainly because of your meridians, your 12 uh, meridians in the body that are related to the acupuncture. By stretching them and working them, the energy flows better through the body. So you're benefiting health and long life. I see. One of the biggest complaints I give beginners is that the training, the labor, hurt at their sleep And yet the ancient uh, place a great emphasis on horse training. It's the most important aspect. There's three very important aspects to martial arts. To become a master of martial arts, the three most important things are stretching, flexibility, horse training, and breath control. Besides your, your meditation and spiritual development, those are very important to have physically good skill. You need to develop the horse because you need strong uh, horse postures for a good foundation. In order to do forms, fighting techniques, apply kicks strongly, it requires strong leg work. Pauly has requests from all over the nation to come to their Kung Fu schools and perform seminars for them. Now you, the television audience, is very lucky in that you're going to have a little mini seminar with him right here and now. So put down that bag of potato chips, put out that cigarette, get rid of that bear. You're going to get off the couch and you do a little workout right here with the great master of Polly Zink. Sound good, Polly? Fine. Great. From this posture, an advanced version is pulling the feet this way, holding, lift. Now I'll demonstrate a few of these postures done in an advanced version for you. For instance, the leg climbing posture is this one. One, two, three, advanced version. Come up, change sides. Come up, front walking posture. Come up, step over, this way. One, two, three, grasp. These are some of the advanced versions of the postures we've been doing. Okay, the standard northern classical basic will be here. Polly really makes that a lot easier than it, it is by looking at it. Polly, do you think you could do me a big favor, maybe demonstrate just a brief section of some form of either pecoir or whatever? You know, Certainly, I would like. be happy to. I think to. we have a little time for that. Certainly. Great. Going to demonstrate a little bit of the monkey form. I'll show you some of the attacks, the kicks, the ch basics, as well as a couple moves of the pecor. First, I'll show a little bit of the pecor movements. Pecor. Now I'll show a little bit of the monkey.
Thank you.